What is up? Mew here, and welcome to my lovely home thing. I got a nice couch. So, yeah, let's get into the video. But before we start, I need to explain a few things. So, let's get by and starting with the main big thing. And also, just to point out, this is not part of it. Just need somewhere to say some stuff. So, today I'm going to be embarking on a great big journey. Well, not really a journey, but an achievement. Today, I'm starting a 500 by 500 plot to make a land filled with mushrooms. But sadly, uh, something happened to the recording. I was testing a few things, as you would, you know, YouTuber stuff. But, and I happen to have a little bit of a problem because I forgot to switch back to settings. So now the video is not the best quality. Now, before you click off, let me just explain a few things for you. So, I would not click off because then I'm going to be telling you, I'm going to be explaining, I'm going to be following you in this video, explaining why and what I did in it. So today's episode is going to be terrain as you can kind of tell from the thumbnail. I'm going to be doing terrain. Now, this terrain, I'm just going to explain a few things. It is flat, but I want to add little texture so it's like, well, I mean, rising and stuff because it's not boring, you know. Don't want it to be boring or it's just going to ruin everything. But yeah, let's get into the video. And, uh, let's go. Ooh. Okay, so let's get it right. So I straight away mess up, of course, but what I'm doing now is making the making the mountain line making sure it goes around this area which i'm planning to be filling with some stuff i'm not really sure yet i made the balls in the other corner smaller so it goes a nice slant now i'm going around and filling the area that is i have the marked off area in the middle i can't actually i don't want to put anything there because i'm not planning to and all around what I'm doing now is placing a bunch of balls down so then later I can use the fill brush which I will be putting it and it'll make it a nice flat terrain because my plan is to actually make it a nice flat terrain and everything so when I get to the places with the slants I'm going to copy that by using the same ball si size sorry and um yeah so it kind of follows it fully so as you can see i'm using it for example these are size 7 and the others are size 5. so now it might look weird but i kind of like it and maybe use it later on in another build who knows but yeah so right now i'm going on the other side with the other tactic here and yeah that should be it so now i'm actually going through and filling it now in the beginning i'm using a smaller brush size because I forgot you can actually change the brush size, so just wait a bit, and there we go. So now you can see I'm making it bigger, and it's really making everything easier. You know, very satisfying, might I add. But yeah, so right now I'm pulling everything, making it all flat, so it's a little bit easier than actually filling it in. So I guess go by pulling stuff, making sure everything looks nat like natural, no weird shapes or too weird. I will be definitely going through after this and uh cleaning it up and make sure that everything looks nice so it's not ugly and so now i'm going through just seeing if i did everything now going using the smooth brush and trying to make everything not so unnatural and making sure everything looks better so i'll be going through this for a bit i definitely have a few things now i'm using the melt brush to actually form the edges of mountains and hills and more it's like plateau areas and i continue doing this i'm now trying to add a little more definition in the ground by adding another hill and making this big and i'm using the same technique by using smaller uh ball sizes to make it look like a slant and i'm going around to make sure it's somewhat flat in a way and now I'm going to use the five size ball around it and trying to make it now i'm going to use the same tactic as i did to make the whole thing flat after this 
but before that I'm setting up little things so it actually gives a little more definition into other mountains and everything like this. Now it might look kind of boring since well it's this but trust me it's gonna look better and so I'm actually going for another ball size to actually give it more of a slant and more smoothness into the ground and once again using the fill brush to bring it. Now this was a little bit hard because I'm trying not to pull stuff out too much and make it too unnatural so I'm definitely going to be going through and melting a few things because right now it looks a little bit unnatural over there same as here as I'm doing like take it make the thing and then kind of pull out parts to make it less man-made but this tactic of making like terrain is very well and it does for the whole thing just a little explanation it actually took me an hour to do this and a little more which you'll be seeing and yeah I so we'll be continuing this for a little bit going through and making each thing more flatter and more thing as I said I was using the melt brush making the edges of the I guess you could call it a valley in a way yeah more presentable once again through going with smoothing everything make sure there's no weird bit sticking out and since this is a pretty is absolutely big it's a 500 by 500 project it's kind of not so much have to be so close up with detail because most people are not going to be exactly like right close up to some places so i don't exactly have to go in through like handmade so now for the rest of the part i have this idea of coloring the train easier than actually going through so I'm going to be saying goodbye from the video now because the rest of it, trust me, it's nothing. Don't follow it. Um, next episode, I have another tactic that is absolutely better than for coloring the grass. So that's it for me. You can continue watching. Thank you. And as always, I hope you learned something. And yeah, bye.